East End Clips on the Beat. Smiley. Token. <laughs> Let's go. Um, I'm not gonna do that back stuff, but you know, it's six views uncut, your boy, gutsy guts here again with my co-host, Savage Ghost. Yo, um, yo, yo. Episode sevs. Oh um, yeah, seven. We're doing big things. It's big a good things. number. Uh, it's a good shout number. out all the supporters, shout out to everybody that's watching. Uh, shout out uh, We Love Hip Hop Network, shout out Friday, Ricky Dread, uh, PK Herx, and um, you want to do your shout outs really quick before we get to our guests and stuff like that? Um, House of Healing and Herbs, uh, um, Carrie's Candies. What is that? Carrie's Candies. So that's where we got the brownie from the other day, you know? The brownie mm-hmm. that had you on your face? Yeah, that brownie right there. So she makes these fire edibles, and she's like between Montreal and here. Okay. So she's gonna be in Montreal, I think, for Can- sorry, in Toronto for Canada Day. So she has it on her page. So I'll I'll put it in the thing. But Carrie's Candies hit her up. She makes this Hennessy popcorn. Be like, popcorn. I forgot it. I was supposed to bring it and I forgot it. Thing? Yeah, I forgot it. It was yeah, yeah. Wow. It's exciting. Um, who else? Um, well, are we we're gonna wait for our guests or what do you want to do here? Yo, let's just plug in our guests. Cause yeah, because I'm like, they're right here. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, they're right there in your face, B. And um, first off, this lovely um, field trip that we're on right now. Field trip in the budget. The scene, um, no, in the Sally cap. Oh. In, in the Sally cap. Mm-hmm. So um, it's just nice to get some B-roll footage of it. But yes, our guests right now. I'm going to let the man them introduce themselves still. Please. Because these are some good guests here. Oh. You know what it is, man. It's naughty, boss, mighty. All the girls want me, all me, call me, cause I'm forced up their body. Stand up, money, get it right back. Right back. Some work, some go to the trap. <laughs> Say that. Man. You know what it is. Mr. Chews up or get bruised up. You know what I'm That's what's up. And all the way on the ends. The ends, gang. You already know it's gang. That be Gucci, the building. Shout out to the motherfucking team. You feel me? Like. Shout out to Gunsy, shout out to fucking Sav, you know what I mean? We up here in the pet house doing an interview, so up you know. Here on a field trip. Shout out to Friday and PK, you feel me? And the whole fucking team, you already know. Gang. Any shout outs? Any, uh, any, anybody you guys want to big up anything? Shout out to motherfucking my hut, me. You feel me? Ab, you feel me? Man, I'm all ten out there every day, man. Money, yeah, you know what we do, man. Emmy, I'm view? not gonna lie. I used to this Emmy. I used to call it the box still. With the view, Cause, with the view. Emmy, Emmy was the box still. It never used to get. It was, it was. Don't get it twisted. Like niggas get it greasy out there, but it was like so pinched. You know? But yo, shout out Emmy, save me. I got love for Emmy. But yeah, um, any other shout outs? Um. Fam, shout out the view, B. Oh yeah, shout out the view. Not that view. I caught the view. You didn't catch the view. You guys were in a full conversation. I was like, hmm. I say that. But anyway. Shout out the pole in the back. Fire. <laughs> One. Okay. So we did we did our guest now. Recap the last episode. Luna Quick fast. Luna, did you guys catch the Century Luna Sam. episode? Uh, Luna Century episode. Did you catch that episode? Six years uncut. Did you watch it? Gucci, like, no, you didn't watch, watch it? That oh, shit. Oh, 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 yeah, I did watch it. You did. Did you watch some of it at least? Like, I watched some of it. Okay, that's okay. I appreciate that. Thank you for your support, Gucci. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, what else? We talked about a lot of different things in that in that episode. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back to all of it because it was long. Um, really quick, I want to get into one thing. Did you guys see the pre- the presser picture? With him kneeling, him doing the George Swing Floyd the thing. Mic. Um, you got any uh, anything to say about that? I mean, I seen the picture and like it got a lot of uh, what you call it mixed. Re- they got a lot of mixed reviews, you know. Like some people are saying, yeah, yeah. Some people are saying, no, nah, no, nah, that's not the thing. I mean, I mean, this is what it is. And at that point, still, man. Like, 
I'm just I'm just observing like pretty much the whole thing that's going on, especially over there. It's pretty wild over there, you know. It's a different situation in America, but I mean, yeah, it, it has its um, it's, it makes signals, I guess. Let's see, eh? What about you, Butch? You have anything like that? The Presa picture. picture. Did you see it? No comment. No comment on that one. Still. No you see how you just taught? You, this how you, we just taught the people. <laughs> we taught the people them no comment, and now that's the thing. That's the thing. All bro. right. All right. Cool. Cool. Um. Other than that. Um. Oh yes. I got a quick shout out. I I totally forgot some stuff too. Um. Shout out to Quick Fix Toronto. I'm gonna be. They're gonna be sponsoring us on some stuff. Sorry. They're gonna be sponsoring us on some things. Uh. They fix computers, phones, laptops. Uh, they do all that kind of stuff. So, sorry, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna get my mic fixed. But yeah, they're gonna be sponsoring us. Uh, they're at uh, Western Road in Eglinton at one two o three Western Road. And yeah, uh, next week I'll be having some products from them. Or the next time you see us on the show, you'll see some products from them. And yeah. Well, Shout they're sponsored. Oh, and as well, sorry. Next one. I don't know how we're gonna do this just yet, but I'm gonna be giving away these pens. Unfortunately, I can't like show the other side of them, but they kind of match my Dewey, if you can get the drift. But yeah, we're gonna be giving that out, but you guys gotta get this video to a thousand views. Get the video to a thousand views and comment. Every comment is gonna be very important. I'll just leave that as that. Once you get to comment, or once we get to a thousand views. Comments are important. Yes. Let us know how you feel about what's going on over here yes yes so um are you guys watching the news savvy you watching the news keeping up to what's going on in the world i don't watch the news so i get my news from like twitter when i get on twitter shout out twitter um or when i get to work and somebody says savannah did you see this and i'm like nah and then i get on the computer and i'm like google <laughs> tell me what happened type of thing but I'm like, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of crazy things going on in the news. But just quick, fast, have you guys been watching the news? Like, have you been keeping up with the news? Yeah, it's all over the place. You, know? you can't miss it, you know? It's all over. You can't really miss a step, really, you know? You got the COVID, you know? I, I'm asking people, like, what happened to the 5G? Like, say the 5G just disappeared or something like, you know? I don't know. And then you got a protest going on, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, I mean, you see it all over the place, right? It's tagged and everywhere, so... Keeping up on it, you know, seeing what's going on. Okay. Gucci, you watching the news? Pull the mic. Yeah, I'd, I personally don't watch news. I be watching news off of Instagram. I'm guilty. I'll say that. But okay. what I be seeing is what's going on. And I don't really like it, you know, especially how they're doing black people. And it been too long. So it's like we need a change and we need justice. And yeah, like... Uh, but yeah but is it just black people that are being affected right now because you guys showed me a video earlier of the brown people and they're talking about brown, brown people's life matter yeah, too yeah, like that's that's, that's, yeah, like, yeah. that's a thing like yeah a month. it looks like something happened to the day i think yesterday or something like, and like that's a thing got, that's a, that's your hood no yeah the guy got some schizophrenia i'm not sure of the story right there's mm -hmm. those allegations but there's a video and it looks like a man getting sh up or something you know on his oh. balcony or from his balcony you know? That's sad. I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's sad. So. <laughs> like, like, I, so they went up to his balcony off on a ladder, right? And then I guess yeah, he got gunned down or something. I don't know the details of that, but you know, I just, I just see for I see for the video. Yeah, I mean, so now they got locked up the whole of like it was like dairy and grow and mountain. They shut down. Yeah, I can't even get a burger in the downs or nothing. Like that. <laughs> Start for that point. Sorry. That's crazy that you said that because you said, uh, sorry, that's the, the, the blunt. Um, they had schizophrenia. And we were talking about that, that like down here, I think people with mental health, they got to worry about police brutality more than like black people or Spanish or any other. Because mental health, they're going like crazy and police seem like, yo, just what, a couple of, what, last month, ago? Regis yeah. with the balcony situation. Oh, yeah. Like, that's crazy, bro. You ever think about that? Like, you know what? Now that it's popping up, like, it, it sets a light bulb off in your head, you know? And I see it, because, like, uh, I mean, it's one time, I know a guy, actually, I did some time, 
And there's a guy, I forgot his name, but he, he's schizo too, you know, he's always rapping still, you know, he always raps. And one time, um, he was on the news, <laughs> and uh, the guy came out the car, and he's like, he's rapping to the cops with like, I think it was like a knife in his hand or something like that, or his phone. And like, he got, he got tackled and everything, but he made like live breaking news at CP24 in the morning, you know? <laughs> and uh, like, he's just there rapping, like, they're, they were saying, um, the reporter's like, I think he's rapping to the cops or something like that. And he seems like... Moving, he's doing the gestures, you know, like this guy's like trying to freestyle about the water or something like. But yeah, he was, he was. Uh, I don't know. It's a thing though, still, you know. You see these guys going on, and yeah, I guess they're easy targets, you know. Like, you know? Yeah, no, I agree with that. Like I was saying that, I was like, when I when we were talking about it the other day, I was like, it seems like in in Toronto, mm. that's where the problem lies. Like it's like you guys don't know how to de-escalate a mental health situation. Like, it always tends to escalate. Somebody gets, like, riddled with bullets and, yes, like, they yes, die. Yes, like, I don't, I don't understand. It's true. But, yeah. Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Um, I have another quick question because you brought up something the other day, guys, and I didn't understand why we couldn't talk about it. And I'm just going to jump to it because we're talking about, like, something instead of, like, this... There's two things, actually, that we were told not to talk about. So there was... So first things first. George Floyd. Why can't we talk about him doing porn? Why can't we talk about that? I, I didn't see... I didn't even know nothing about that. I didn't see nothing about that, you know? I didn't know about porn, I think. Huh? Yeah, they used to call him Big Floyd. Wow, okay. What the hell? I but I was like, why that. can't we talk about that? Why is like that taboo? Yo, like, I, why seen, is that I seen like the, 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 those old like those like those New Orleans type cash money type mixtapes he had. Yeah, you know, with the yeah. with the diamond with the diamond font. Yeah. yeah, for real. I didn't even know that. I, I seen that, but I didn't know what no, no, no thing like that. Whoa. Gucci did uh, like I'm trying to understand why it's wrong to talk about George Floyd and him having done porn. <laughs> did I blow your mind? Yeah, you did. Ah. My mind went that. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> but I'm like, it's like super taboo, you know? Like people are like offended and they're like, oh, why are you bringing that up now? Because he died and blah, blah, blah. But I was like, well, why is that a bad thing? You know what I mean? Like, why is it a bad thing? I guess, yeah, what she's trying to say is like, why is there this stigma again? Like, we're in 2020, bro. Like, the only fans is popping, things is popping. Why is it a bad thing that somebody does porn now? We were, sorry, we were even talking about this um, earlier in the Wheel of Hip Hop interview with McCrudin and like how Mia Khalifa, like, you know what I'm saying? How her name is like monetized and you can't, or demonetized, you can't use her name for certain things. And- it was big ones, but it was a Mia Khalifa top five. Mm. Oh. Okay, picture this. Mia Khalifa was in Miami outside of a strip mall when she was approached by a random dude. He handed her a flyer and he. And uh, uh, Mia Khalifa. <laughs> Even her, how the backlash were like, bro, it's porn. Like, who cares? So, like, I think millions of people have done it. Why is there still, why do you guys think there's still a stigma towards it? You know, well, it's just, it's just, it's like that, man. You know, it's hard to shake something like that, too. You know, like, I think just because the visuals, you know, it's so vivid in front of you. you know, you're watching something, it's, you know, it's in your face. Like, so, you know, it, those things stay in me, you know, they kind of stay in your, your brain in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's hard to shake those type of stigmas too, like, you know what I mean? Like, say, like those dogs, like pit bulls or something, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They say, yeah, it's like, the dog is good, but you never know. You just see a red nose or something, you, you get the first thing, it's like, whoa, like, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's hard to, you know, it's a tough one, to be honest, you know? Okay. Gucci? Any thoughts? You can pull it. Any thoughts? Uh, actually, I have no thoughts right now. No thoughts right now? Yeah. The ray has you away. The ray has you away. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happens on 6 feet on cut, you know? Gotta loosen you up so I can ask you all the questions I want. Yo, yeah. you can't, yo when we get into the uncut questions, you can't be no commenting, eh? You only get one no comment. I'll just let you know from now. But yeah, um, also in the news, uh, I, w- I wanted to talk a little bit about the J. Cole song. You guys heard the J. Cole song, uh, Snow in the Bluff? No, I also, too, somebody said it. I don't know if we're being up. Yo, shout out Charlemagne. Snow in the Bluff, the movie, does not get enough love, fam. I'm just throwing that out there. Have you guys seen Snow in the Bluff, the movie? 
that was like the original gangster like Blair Witch Project. So it's like a nigga ran up to these guys that were like these regular folks that went to the hood and they had a camera and he robbed the camera and he just like a day in the life just oh, going around shit. selling drugs and stuff. Anyway, shout out Snow in the Bluff. But yeah, Snow in the Bluff the song. You guys haven't heard it? No. Nobody? No, you haven't heard it? Heard Gucci? No? No? Okay, well, let's not talk about it then. I don't okay. think it's a big deal. He got backlash on it because I guess... Like, I just didn't understand what was happening. I was like, why is everybody mad at him? He said he's not as woke as you guys think he is. Like, just relax. It's Man's not even that. I guess a shorty, like, I don't a shorty that called him out about being vocal, he called... He kind of, like, threw shade out there in the song. Subliminal, sublim, subliminal messages. Mm-hmm. And then I guess everybody was just like, come on, fam. Like, just do more. And I guess that's just like you're saying. Like, I guess the whole thing is, like... He's saying, yo, just because I'm out here and I do music and I talk about polit- like political things or whatever, doesn't mean like I'm this big activist, though. Mm-hmm. Like, don't get my music kind of tied in yeah. with that. That's true, that's true. But yeah, shout out J. Cole, I guess. Mm-hmm. J. Cole. Um, One more thing, just to go back to the vid. Um, so, when it's gone, you know? And the new norm continues. Shout out new norm. <laughs> and we try to figure out or whatever the life is going to be like moving forward like what do you think is going to be the biggest change to be honest i mean almost everything man you know like i i during this whole thing i, I learned a lot about um like just like what the government does like and who they you know, who they put first and whatnot you know? i see like if you have like your own business and stuff like that i think they take care of you guys first you know they, they take care of me you know what uh I mean, I believe, like, even just, like, the way that things are set up. You know, I think, like, all these little cubbies. You see those cubbies they have with, like, the extra plexiglass and stuff? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I think things like that, too. Like, little changes. I don't think nothing dramatic, but I just think, like, little changes. Like, and they'll slowly, like, get used to it, you know? You become accustomed to it, like, you know? Adapt and you don't even realize what the hell's going on at that point, you know? It's just a regular day. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Do you have a problem with somebody saying it's the new normal? To be honest, I, I don't because it's like, you know, you, to think back now, it's like, what has really changed besides just like everybody stay inside type of thing? And not really besides like the little thing. You'll notice little things like, you know, but um, maybe like lineups and stuff like that, I think. Like, mm-hmm. you know, those things would be a little different from now on, maybe. Who knows, you know? And I even like socialize, like, the way people react in public. It's crazy because, like, in my building, there's a sticker in one corner of the elevator and a sticker in the next. And, like, you know, before, like, the elevator, morning time, it was, like, 11 people jammed up in the elevator, squeezed <laughs> up, like, don't get coffee, sneezing, don't get farting, whatever they're doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now there's two stickers and it's, like, two people in there, people are like, oh, my God, like, people are just like, no, it's okay, go, go, next yeah, elevator. Yeah. And I'm like, really, you know? It's like, I don't know. And I feel like this thing is, like, something that everybody's going to catch at one point, like, you know what I mean? Like, because I, I, you saw these stuff about vaccines and whatnot, but I mean, uh, who knows what's next to happen, you know? But I mean, it's, it, little things like that are just a change, you know? But mm-hmm. um, I don't know, we'll see what happens though, right? Or, mm-hmm. you know, I have fortune tellers. So That's a good answer, it's though. It's going to go with the flow and you don't know. Like. That's a good answer, though. That's a really good answer. Gucci, what do you think is the, what do you think is going to change? Like, what do you think is one of the things that's going to change the most when we go into like this new step? new norm, new whatever you want to call it, but this, like, new way of life that we're stepping into. Regime. Yeah, regime, yeah. See, me, like, I don't want to really think about it too much because mm-hmm. the more you think about it, the more it's going to drive you crazy. And, mm-hmm. like, you know, I just want to just, like, just adapt to it. Like, you know, just... But... I, like like I said, I don't want to really think about it too much, but mm-hmm. what, like you know, I'm just going with the flow. Whatever happens, um, there's nothing I can, I can really change. You know, yeah. like it's like we're also like like in our own bubbles, like the way we live. So like you don't really pay attention to like what's going around like that, or what's, unless you look at the news. Like you know what I mean? If you if, you, if no one watched the news when you know nothing's going on in the first place, like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I mean, we'll see. Just you know. Keep watching what's going on, and you know. Question I got for you guys, because I know you guys are in the clubs and shit like that. Do you think the club scene's gonna change? And I mean both. Like, we'll get into the other one after in our uncut. But do you think people are gonna be partying and shit like that? Because like, 
You're learning exactly. a lot about yourself. Well, I hope people are learning a lot about themselves during the lockdown and the pandemic. So, like, you think people are going to actually go out and be spending bottles and doing all that crazy stuff? Face masks. Like mask. before? Even, not even just face masks. Just the reality of just, like, just like... I don't even think people are going to be going out like that before. We'll see. Or anymore. I think, like, when this all like, frees up... I feel I like Gucci's waiting for Lexi to open so he can, like, set foot inside there. Like. For, the first, for the first month or two, but then I think it's going to be like... Yeah, yeah. You know, I think... I think there's people who just... They're party animals, right? So the first club that opens up downtown or something, they're on it. And I'm saying the promoters, like, you know, they're going to be pushing the flyers and they're going to try and make money quick. You know what I mean? Especially the club owners, too. And, um... And I don't say about the strip club, it's probably be like it's like it's gonna be like eighty bucks for a lap dance now, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like maybe some co- more, more cubbies or something. Like, you know, there's some clubs downtown that already have like that privatized area, you know, they all might be like that and I don't know, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, it's interesting to see what's gonna happen with the owners, but again, like maybe nothing might change, you know. Maybe we're overthinking, maybe we're thinking too much, maybe we're not thinking enough. You know? Gucci, what club are you waiting to? Which club are you waiting to open? You know, Push I'm this. gonna say, man. Like, <laughs> um, what clubs? Yeah, which one? Like, uh, which? What? Like, what club are you like? Damn, you are to be there right now, B. Like, anyone. Anyone. To be real, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say strip club. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, actually, I don't want to say that. Yeah, yeah. But no, that's you know, cool about it. Right? Like okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> that's a midway invader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was afraid. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I like the clubs. Yeah. There's just one I like. I think it was called the promotions. There's a lot of like Matheson. Okay, like that's that. it. So, Mrs. Saga, yeah. Yeah, yo. Real cool. quick story. It's the first time I ever, like, I don't even want to be put in girls. Who cares? It's not like anybody ever really knows. But it's the first time I ever went to a club and I know a club. Yeah. Bro, they, I went into the club and I, I made a left. And I guess that's where the private room was. And I saw, like, three heads. Just, <laughs> I like, damn, son. I like, that's just one man in the club? I'm like, Jesus Christ. Shout out to Toronto clubs. I don't want to hear you guys out. But uh-huh. I'm saying. So, yo, I wanted to kind of turn this into a little segment. So I want to turn this into yo. What are we listening to? And then we'll do our review too as well. But you know, just <coughs> give a little shout out Excuse to me. maybe some artists that are not getting love that we're actually listening to right now. And uh, one of them I wanted to shout out was uh, Darrell, little female uh, from I think she's out here in Mississauga. Uh, shout out Darrell. She has a song called Know Yourself that she just put out. Mm-hmm. Shout out her. So. Oh, anything great. that you are listening to right now can you send that to me please so i can add it to my playlist my list of songs do. that i'm adding to the playlist i don't playlist. know if she's on title and all that it I just, that's I'm okay YouTuber. that's yeah, okay so they just need to figure out their lives but it's okay <laughs> title gives you six percent guys get on it um i'm i don't know i'm listening to a lot of different things um i've been asking you to listen to like two albums in particular um for a while I hope listen. you listen to I them. I listen to them. I hope. Okay, great. Um, but they're not the only things that I'm listening to. Mind you, I listen to Smiley. I listen to the whole album. I listen to Burner Bands. Um, you told me about this rumor person. Rumor. And I know. Who, like, the thing is, I know the songs, right? But I didn't know what his name was. And then you sent me that message I saw you said tomorrow. That was actually really funny. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but he's, they're, they're really good albums. Like, I enjoyed all, I enjoyed all of them. And anybody who put out music in the last like month, I can honestly say that you really put out something that was like interesting enough for me to put it on repeat. Word. And I got stuck in listening to a lot of drill. So yeah. So yo, what are you guys listening to right now? Yeah, pretty much man. I listen to almost everybody. I like a lot of the old stuff too, you know, like Like what? I mean Like what's something I, that you got up this morning and you said, Yo, I need to listen to that. Like yo, to this day, like 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 to this day I still play hundred strong arms. Like to this day, like you know? I'm sorry, you play what? 100 Strong Arms. Uh, yeah. That's like, uh, I got various artists. It's like DJ Wicked set it up. Okay. And um, it's like uh, Young Tony, eh, Hush and these guys, you know? Like all those old mm. men at C4. And nice. Like, you know, I still I still like that era of Toronto music, you know? But um, 
Now I'm listening to the local city. You got a nice song. I know that local city. The credit card. You know? Yeah, the local city track. Black, Black of the Dawn, too. I like Black of the Dawn Black stuff. Really you know? he's, he's very, like, like I said, he's like a widespread artist. And, you know, I like that still. You mm-hmm. know? I like he's coming with. A lot of the Martin artists, too. There's a lot of Martin artists. It's Glizzy Ave. Oh, um, Glizzy's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Glizzy's yeah, 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 yeah. Glizzy's yeah, R&B is yeah. good. You know? Yeah. He's like, there's a lot of good artists in but there's no vids and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, even for like Toronto music, you know. Oh, sorry. You said something just now. Yeah. There's no, vi- there's no video. Like, it's in videos, right? Like, so they, are, like, you saying, yeah, like are you saying that you need a video? Yeah. In Toronto, I believe so. Because, like, there's so, there's more, there's more artists than there are fans in Toronto right now, if you're, especially if an artist. So, like, like, these guys have, like, so many tracks. Like, I know guys personally have tracks on tracks on tracks with, like, one vid, like, a, and a lot of artists in Toronto, they're, like, a one vid and done. Like, you know, just to say they get a little one piece of the pot, you know? Mm-hmm. But I like the consistent artists. I like the guys who keep pop. I don't care, like, where area they're from or whatever, like, you know? I'm from a neutral block, so I don't care where you're from. I, I bump your shit, like, mm-hmm. I don't care where you're from, you know? But, I mean, it's just, like, yeah, I, I think you do need a vid because, like, People want to see what you envision, you know? And you have to work with a good director, too, you know what I mean? You think quality might be a problem? Why you don't see artists taking shit seriously? I, I think so, definitely. That's a big issue in the city, like, you know what I mean? Because, like, now it's not just, like, you know, A block versus B block. Versus, now it's, like, A and B block versus C and B block. Like, it's, like, odd. And so it's, like, you don't know. Like, sometimes I sort of got, man, like, yo, one time um, <laughs> I have to go do something, right? And then... And I was bumping a track and I told you I play this track and then the guy's looking around like, yo, I don't know if you can play this too loud. Like, you know, I'm like, what? I'm like, fine. I'm like, we're in the car, bro. And the man is looking around like, like he's what, you know, like something must have happened. So I'm like, whoa. I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know, but that's, you know, that's what, that's, that's, that's what, that's, that's what, that's what, that's, that's what that's sucks sticky. about the city, man. Yeah. That's what sucks about the city because it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're scared to like mention like artists or something and talk about yeah. stuff like that, you know, because it's like people are so scared now or something like you know what i mean because they don't want to be involved with the mix-up you know what i mean and like it's you know, it's a sad part because we're losing artists like we're losing really good artists you guys see what's going on in the news right like we're losing really good guys like you know and uh but i mean hopefully you know there's a w- there's a will there's a way man and you know what I mean? Wood, who are you listening to mm-hmm. to be honest like Toronto, you talking about Toronto? Anybody. What are you listening to in general? It could be FM anywhere. Okay, okay. I listen to, um, R.I.P. to Pop, man. For pop real? Smoke, like, you, are you waiting for day, his like, album? I'm still, yeah, for sure. For July sure. 3rd, yeah. I'm waiting. This guy, like, <laughs> he, he put a big impact, like, on the game. So, like, you know, like, I'll be listening to him all the time. Pop Smoke, um... Fabio, he's coming, and I listen to some Toronto artists too. You know, I smile. Coming up, he was coming up, man. I fuck with Houdini music, you know. Um, when you wake up in the morning, Gucci, what's the first track you bump right now? When I wake up, the first track I'm gonna bump. Um, the first track crazy because it's like I have different days that I'll bump up. You know what I'm trying to say? Like there's different days. Mm-hmm. It, it depends how you feel. Like, you know, like it's not a it's not like a repeat every day I'm gonna wake up to bump that track. So but I would have to put Dior pop Sorry. in it for sure. Oh, I'll be yeah, your fire. And the remix? No, the original. Like it. Yeah. hmm Okay. Fire. <laughs> Nah, right now, yeah, like he's, he's, he's on the right tip, man. like the morning, that morning mood, you know, whatever your kind of vibe, you know, like, if it's a nice city that is, I play that local city, the credit card, you know, it's like one of those, you're driving OT or doing whatever you're doing, you know, and it's a like good vibe, you don't, you don't stress, no, no, you woke up on the right side of the bed, you know, and then sometimes you just have that, like, just feeling like, you get up kind of slow, you have that, the smiley, the 902, I know, the, like, he's like, ah, like, you know, that's like a good stretch, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Nice, I like Actually, that. Since we were talking about Smiley, let's get into it. I, have you heard the album? We're going to do a little review on uh, Smiley and Burner Bands. Did, um, did you listen to Burner Bands? Did you listen to the Burner Bands new album? No, I never listened to it. How was yeah. it? 
No, I didn't listen to Breath of I honestly I enjoyed it because it kept you going like it was like a story throughout the whole entire thing like it just kept like you just kept like every every song had like something to it so it makes you want to listen to the next track to see what's coming next type of thing I recommend it just as a listen like I, I suggest listening to it what I appreciate is that in listening to that I got to listen to a lot of different music from Toronto as well which was amazing so great but we're talking about Smiley first right yeah, okay, great. Smiley. So sorry. Um, but did you like Smiley's album? Mixtape? Album or mixtape? What was it? I believe it was an album. Okay. I could, no, EP. EP? Okay. I don't know what they do. Okay, cool. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. The songs. I haven't listened to his EP or whatever, but like the music that he dropped on the IG or whatever I see, like, I fuck with it. Like, like 9021 knows your track? Yeah, That's what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he mm-hmm. that flow. That's what's up. You already know Smiley. Yo, you know, you know, I'm like Gucci. You know, we have a bond with Smiley. Like that was that was a good interview. Like, yeah, Yeah, man said, tell them to stop braiding the trap. Yeah, Yeah. everything is just so stretched. Straight. He was like, just tell them to stop braiding the trap. That guy, that guy, yo, he wakes up in the morning for the just straight like, yeah. Every bone is cracked in his body. Yeah, and that's that's how I feel about the album. Like everything was just on a vibe. Like you were yeah. just chill for the whole thing. Just yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's true. So the gutsy hatred has to come. Yeah, through. come through because I know you didn't like it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't like this. Here's my thing. I like Smiley. Like I'm a fan of Smiley. I'm a fan of his music. My thing is, I can't deal with that for an album. Me as a like a like, I guess I'm a. And this is not to say he's not hip hop. For me as like an album guy, like my favorite albums were like Good Kid, Mad City, like uh, Man, Dre, Chronic 2001, Take Care, like th- there's some old tracks, but these are old albums, but these are the ones that are coming to mind. Anyways, back to the story. Smiley just seems like it's just the same thing over and over. And it's just like, yeah, I, like I like that flow, but I need something else, man. Like give me that maybe like two, three songs. But give me something else. And he had one song that was kind of different, and he had like a story behind it. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it was just like, it was like, 10 bands just to book me, book me, book me. And don't get me wrong, I love that. But I don't hear that every song, Smiley. And I, I know do. you're growing, and I'm not gonna hate on him for that. It just wasn't my cup of tea. For me, I'm like, I think, I think what I appreciated is that he just keeps being, he's consistent for me. Mm-hmm. Like, you didn't try something and fail, and then said, I'm going to stick to the thing that you failed at. No, he said, I'm good at this, I'm going to stick to this, and I can yeah. appreciate that for that reason. For sure. You know what, you're right, because you know what, I noticed a lot of artists, they're trying to copy that five-year flow, and they're just messing it, like, completely. Yeah. I'm like, he's spending, the video, I don't know, maybe they got the money in their budget or something, but like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, just stick to your, you know, just be yourself. Like, yeah. I like when artists are just... This is their sound, and they know they know they know their volumes and everything, the pitch, all that, right? They don't gotta try all this other stuff, like you know what I mean? Because there's artists trying to come with like certain if they hear a new flow that's busting or something, like you know, they try to come with like, like a UK flow or some type of you know. And I don't like when like, artists is, like come out of their you know their zone to try something like on that scale that's not even something that they made up, you know. I see an artist is like miss a lot, miss bad. It's like oh, let's stop this. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> not to point nobody up, but I mean, it's, it's like ah, oh, it's, it's a cheeser, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, and I, I do like that because you know, because you know, I go a lot to these, guys, yeah, I know a lot of these guys, and I'm always traveling, so I'm going to these guys' yeah. ends and shit. Some of these guys need to hear that because some of these guys, just like you said, they're putting out mm. misses. Yeah. And they go like, yeah, fam, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one, that's yeah. the one, and it's not the one, fam. And then you have your bridges that are there bringing it up. Yeah, yeah, Come on, fam, like, let, let your, story. yo, tell your homies, fam. If you're not real with your homies, you're not your real bridge. Yeah. Some of you, some of you guys in Toronto, you have doo songs, fam. Your songs are doo fam. You, guys, oh. you could do A&R, you can produce, you can do so many other things, but you guys want to rap and you're not hot. You're just your brethren are scared of you, maybe because you have a burner or something. Like just chill, fam. Wow. Else, fam. All right, well, uh-huh. all right. That's. So yeah, that's what. Yeah. It's a roof. Well, yeah. So the burner bands now. I like the burner bands. Yeah. Um, and this is not like a a, a versus thing, but mm-hmm. yeah, I I was feeling the burner bands. I, just like you said, I like the fact that like every song you gave me like a story. There's mm-hmm. something there. 
Um, I, I was just feeling the Bernard Bass. I was, and I was actually surprised because I don't really like those guys, music-wise. Really? Like, I don't really rock with that kind of music, okay. but I have been feeling Houdini, Super Wasi, and mm-hmm. I've been leaning toward the music, and I'm feeling them now. So, like, you, you, you guys have definitely made me a fan. Huh? I'll, tell, I'll give you that. You and yeah. Gucci, I'll put me on. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, because I was like, you have to listen to Brain Events. Everybody, listen to Brain Events. And they were like, I was like, guys, he's on title. Like, <laughs> from your on, from your on title, I'll listen to. I'm like, you, you, you got my vote. Like, I'm proud of you for that. Like, Chromos is on title. Um, Late Night Leno, he's on title. Um, Local City's on title. Price of Boss is on title. Luna's on title. There's a lot of people that are on title, and I'm like, bro, I appreciate you. You, 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 you figured out the you figured out the play because you're making more money on title anyways. It's yeah, black owned guys. Formula, right? Exactly. But yeah. Um. Also, another quick segment. What are you watching? Are you guys watching Netflix? Fire. I like that. <laughs> what are you watching on Netflix, Gucci? I'll be watching Netflix. I'll be watching Shameless. You know what I mean? Are you watching Shameless? That's what's up. I'll be watching Shameless, 100. Um, I heard about that. And what else is there? Nah, but like, yeah, that's the main thing, Shameless. And Are you watching any movies? Um, here and there, but I don't remember the movies I'll be watching, to be honest, because I'll be sleeping through it. I heard that. <laughs> Yeah, and I've been watching a lot of the, um, it was a Tiger Cat guy, the Joe guy. Oh, yeah. The Tiger Cat guy. Guy. I watched fire. that, I took that in, you know. Yeah, like, that was and, good. Um, they, they pop up trending sometime. Even, um, there's a show that I watch, it's called, I think it's called Big Mouth or something like that. It's like a adult cartoon, is, right? So, I love Big those Mouth. type of stuff, like those, those adult cartoons, like the animated and, yeah. you know what I mean? Those guys get real, like, risky with the stuff. I'm like, how do you even yeah. let this stuff on Netflix and even on TV? It's like, whoa, you know, a lot of shows that are because yeah, it's okay too man, that's you know what, what I mean? and it's like uh-huh. little in- sexual innuendos they make yeah. and stuff is funny, you know? <laughs> that that so, feels good even um i also like a, a adult swim you know because I, mean? I like those like adult cartoons and uh-huh. stuff you know okay into that yeah not much movies or anything like that i probably watch everything on netflix already with the movies but uh okay you know, the boot legs. <laughs> i hear that i hear that um have you guys watched push what was that man have you watched push push no 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 Ooh, it's not on Netflix. It's on YouTube. But okay, yeah. watch it. Watch it. Oh, Nemesis made that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Shout out okay, Go okay. My Media. I think I seen some about it too. Pop up still to be yeah, honest. Part yeah. Part three. Said Nemesis. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. I think I seen yeah. Some part three popped up probably in your thing because part three is out now. Yeah, I'm up with, I'll take it in when I get back. Right. It's good. It's good. It's worth watching. Have you watched any of it, Gucci? What? Push. Push. No, I haven't watched Push, but I seen it on like. Like promo, ma- like ads, you know, and I seen like certain people like promote it, so it looks interesting. I'm gonna, you know, it's worth I'm taking gonna, it yeah, in. I'm gonna take it in though. I just have a chance to take it. I'm gonna take it in. Yeah. Too. Especially I seen how it promo, so that's a good look too. Don't kill me. And me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely gonna take it in. Yeah, take it in, take it in. It's worth watching it. Yeah. I've I taken, know you didn't see part. Three. No, I haven't taken it in, in part three yet. Uh-huh. Um, I've watched uh, up to part two. Yeah. It's really dope. I, th- I I don't know. I thought it was kind of like a movie. So it's kind of throwing me off with the parts. I wish I kind of know what it was. Because now is it a series? Like, it's a short film. But if it's a short film, I want, like, why is it in parts? Like that. Because it's like, it's like, it's like a book. You know what I mean? Like a book has, like, parts to it. Like different, different, different parts. Yeah. But so it's like short stories. Right? Again. Because in each episode, there's a different story. I know, but if it's a short film, like Life of the Dot, I hate to mix the two, but Life of the Dot is supposedly from a book too as well, right? And they did a series. So it's like, if you're going to call it a short film, give me like, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. It is half minutes. an hour. It's, 20, it's 26 minutes. But it's not done. It's part three is the last part? No. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it feels like it's called it a, a short series. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what it is to but take it, it for it. Is this some of the albums too? It's like seven songs on an album, and that's a whole thing. It's like what? Before it was like twenty-four songs or something. Like Fourteen. It's like half now. Nah. That's called the EP. You know what I'm saying? The seven songs on an album now is called the EP. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I think it's a certain amount of time on an album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or some shit. But it's still. Yeah. That, that's my only. Um. Not my only. Um. 
problem with it. I mean, the acting, obviously, they're not real actors. So, that I know everybody wants to ride on the acting, but just give it time. Like, okay. shit. Like, nothing was good in the beginning. Like, just... Watching. That's yeah, what I have to Toronto. say. Yeah, it's Toronto. Just support it. Shit. Shut like, it's worth watching. Um, like, if you're going to review it and you're going to do a review on it, then you can complain about it. But if you're just going to complain just to complain, like, shut the hell up. It's true. It's true. And then... Shut up, Christ the Fox, man. <laughs> that's Life of the Dot right that, there. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, shout out those guys. They're doing a good their season two is coming out just now, so shout out them. Um, another quick thing, just a quick tip if you're watching anything on Netflix, watch the five bloods. Watch it. It's good. It's long. It's long. Yeah. But it's worth watching. Watch it. Because I wasn't expecting that shit to happen. I watched the whole thing. Can we read it for you guys or no. Nah. Well, Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you guys gonna watch it? Go ahead. I'll probably take it in. Gucci said, Nah. <laughs> like some girls, honestly, some. Gucci don't care. Gucci said you probably don't. Like some, it. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it is. Like, like it's Netflix, right? Netflix is like, a, okay, you just a, it's a mood set, you know. It's like, okay, let's put something on, and then okay, they just kind of start drawing up to the, you, you know, <laughs> push up, push up, you know, like twenty minutes. You it's know? a really and a chill thing. On. Okay. okay. Whoa, Two hours and thirty five minutes. You better have some length and stretch for that then, you know? <laughs> No, I watched the whole thing it's like straight. Yeah. I watched it straight last night, like all of it. Yeah, it's not something to fall like, asleep. Oh my god. To, you know? <laughs> this movie's so long I kept touching the screen. I was like, Oh my god, it's only been forty minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the forty minute part is it's where so, I cut it off. It's a lot of endurance. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why they need to split. That's why they need to split up. I put it like that, they need to split up. Just there's like, there's no know. round two in that. <laughs> that is a one and done, you know? Like, okay, come over tomorrow. I watched the whole thing. I was like, oh my gosh. It's a side dance. It's a side dance. It's a side dance. You know? Side dance. You know? side dance. I'm so crazy. Just slip it down, like. This is, yeah, this is so good. Oh my god. Yeah. You know you I can't. You gave me a whole demonstration. I love it. Don't to the knees because they tried to rest up. I can't. I can't. Less energy. This is amazing. Amazing. East and Clips on the beat. All right, so we did all this, like, you know, soft things and get into your personal, like, history and all of that stuff. But it's time to get, like, personal, personal. Uncut. Uncut, yeah, uncut, uncut, uncut. Uncut. Like, to, oh, we're like, getting I, I, in I it. I'm not the colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versace, <laughs> Versace and all. That's what's up. So, first things first, because I didn't ask this question before, and I figured that this is the better time to ask the question. What is your job title? That me, who you want to go for? You know what? My job title, like I'm, a, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, that's, yeah, that's about it. You know All right. I mean? I'm, a, I'm in the animal trade, you know? The animal trade? Yeah, yeah, the animal trade. Yeah. Yeah, um, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. And I'm a, I'm a videographer still, so. so you guys check me out on Clear Star Studios. You know that's my, you know I mean that's my Instagram. That's my platform, so you can see what's going on. And yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, legal animal trade. Actually, rescue animals. Actually, if you guys know that, actually rescue. Yeah, so I have a I have a business, and I rescue like. All kinds, like usually dogs, cats, whatever. I'll take anything though, you know. Re- rehabilitate them, give them a good home, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, ask him about it. No, I really have to ask you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you put your shades on, you got ready. Ah, talk about it. You got the shades on. Ah, leave it. Yeah.
bad boy on a freaking in music video. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the city fucks with me. I fuck with the city too, you know. Yeah, the back page, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Met her backstage, now she on back page. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, but you know. It's an old, it's a old, it's a old thing still, you know what I mean? It's not about the past. It's just a memory of the past, and uh, you know what I'm saying? We ain't doing nothing like that anymore, you know? Just. Saving one animals' lives, you know, one 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 pet at a time, one straight at a time, you know, mm -hmm. right? You were talking about it though, for real. Um, getting back to the clubs, what clubs? <laughs> what clubs do you think has like the best girls? Or like what area? Cause I don't know if you want to say the, the the clubs, but what area of clubs do you feel like has the best girls? Produce the best girls. They have the best girls in the motherfucking club. You know what? Um, there's these. There's a few, man. There's a. The best though, cheese. I mean, I gotta say. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So now we know what we're talking about, and we said all right. Then the list, and all the girls are back in the club, and they're like, yes, every single girl is back in the club. I'm in that club. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to say. Maybe Atlantis, yeah. Atlantis. Maybe that's in the Mississauga. So I like those. Like, that's a nice club. You know, you can get a girlfriend or something there. You know, get me a nice girl. It's a cool environment. You know what I mean? I, I mean, Niagara's is always going on, man. You know. Yeah, yeah, Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> Tour de la Strip. Don't slip. Hide your bitch. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I have, I have. What's the difference between... Sorry, sorry, can I, can you answer the question? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. What was the question again? What club are you waiting to have open? Like, which, which one? Like, the, everything is lifted, everything good to go, every girl is ready for the club, she's good to go, quarantine body ready. Um... Uh, fuck, he's a one, right? I have to say. Yeah. Fuck, he already covered too. Um, yeah. Then, <laughs> and I'd say like, oh, I'd say Midway. The reason why I'm gonna say Midway because Is that the area or is that the name of the club? it's the club name because. Yeah, it's where is it? Tucked away in like the darkest corner of like Mississauga. I guess like a Mississauga. Yeah, I'll say yeah. I'll say yeah. I'll say I'll say yeah. I'll say, I'll say, yeah. So, it's more like a it's like a a come up club. You feel me? Like nah, it's 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 not good inside there. But it's not. Oh, no, no, the vibe is good. The vibe is like, okay. you would hear trap music and stuff. Like, you know, the other clubs are more professional. You're not going to hear a lot of, other, like, you know, some music like that you want to listen to. This is more like, a, like I said, an upcoming for like new girls, you know? So it's, it's more of a vibe, like there's like loose ball play and, you know, like, like for, for people who's watching, like, you know, like if you want. Huh? Ball. It's like a, yeah, it's more like a loose ball. Like, you know, you could do, you could, you could get away with certain things. You feel me? Like, you know, it's more, it'll get you more comfortable. And I mean, and then, yeah, like, it's just more of a vibe, you know? But yeah, like, I wouldn't recommend for you to work there, but like, you know, it's more like a vibe. If you do end up working there, it's more of like a come up. And I mean, you learn the ins and out, and yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty cool club. Yeah, the club is it's actually turned up like that's that's better than some of the nightclubs in Toronto because like you just go there to have fun, just hear the music because you know they're, they're playing the latest. You know what I mean? They're playing some real. Just anything goes pretty much. We gotta be careful because sometimes that plays into like a gangster party, man. You know what I mean? But 
other than that, it's a sick club, man. You know, he's right. Yeah. I've had experiences with Peel clubs. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't rock with Peel clubs. I have bad experiences with Peel clubs. But yeah, um, I wanted to ask about the uh, the difference between between the clubs in the states and over here. Do you feel like the ones in the states are more fun, more chill? I know Niagara kind of has a states vibe to it more, but what do you feel like? Do you feel like Toronto strip clubs are better? Or? Yeah, so this one, yeah. Yeah, you travel? Yeah, um, like it all depends. It all depends, like what you're going there for. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, because it's, it's different. Everything is different. The money situation, because, you know, they be throwing $1 bills. You know, we can't throw a dollar bill. That's change, you know? So every, you can't throw a $1. Like, you can't throw change. You feel me? Nah, you can't throw a quarter can't. It's like coins, you know? Why can't you put change on a bill? Shut up, man. Go on. Go, Gucci. Finish what you're saying. I'm being for real, though, because it's the same shit, though. If, if niggas is throwing dollar bills, yeah. why can't they just come on stage with the, you know, the coin thing? Yeah. The coin thing of loonies and toonies on it. Well, yeah. You're still making you dollars, man. Money is money, a lot. You're going to come with a roll of uh, loonies and toonies, like, insert a coin, you know? <laughs> like, well, but why not? Put it on the bump crack, like, and it starts working. Why can't they come on stage, man? Uh, well, you, you, know, you know what? I'm not discriminating. You know what? I, I, that actually popped up one time, and girls were saying like, "Why do like the coin thing? They think it's just like a flicking coin, so they take it more as a this, like you know, like it's like oh my god, like, sh- sh- like, like pennies flicked at you and stuff, you know, like a wishing well or something, you know." I don't think. Strippers, let me know. Let me know. It's actually really funny that you guys were talking about this, mm-hmm. that, and I'm like, now that I'm like, I wouldn't want nobody to flick coins at me. And I was like, I remember that because when we went to the like male strip club in Montreal, they were like flicking coins at the yeah. guys, and I was like, you guys are really disrespectful. Like, yeah. you can't be flicking coins at it's people. Dollars. Don't flick coins at me. Like, you flick cash. Th- th- bro, like, they're not hitting me. Did you, have you ever gotten flicked with a coin? Have you ever gotten, <laughs> have you ever gotten slapped? With a coin? Hold on. I'm gonna like, 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 imagine, like, 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 basically, imagine, like, if, like, a coin falls in a in a wedge, and you're like, take all your coins off, and that one is just stuck in the wedge, and you're just there on stage, butt naked, trying to like fish out that one coin that's stuck in the wedge. <laughs> Can you pull up? Like, like, you got a hairpin or something? Can I flick it off? That's crazy. I don't know. This is that seems a little bit crazy. Yeah, Gucci, just, you know what? If you were a stripper, you would somebody flick coins at you. Yeah. I. <laughs> that's your only one. That's your only use one. It up. You didn't but, use it wisely. That's your yeah. only one, man. That's your I'm only just, one. And you know what? There's a misconception of like the the American stripper versus the Canadian stripper. Like, like yeah, there's the market, but like everyone thinks like. The American strippers have to be some big body, don't know, don't know, balloon lip chick, you know? It's not like that, you know what I'm saying? That's only like one, two clubs you guys watch on World Star, which is like a one, two in the States in Atlanta, you know? Not every club, girls are like, ooh, 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 big gelatin, like, you know what I mean? Whatever the Mexican <laughs> car oil they're gelatin. pumping in their body. Like, and they pump a lot of like Mexican car oil in their body, all kinds of stuff. Like, I don't know what these guys are using, but like, wow. you see that box all the time on TLC. <laughs> Bodies are world pop, world pop, you know, like, oh, what happened? Like, I did this three months ago. Shout out like, TLC, you know? because that see? network is fire, boss. It's like a <laughs> big boy, blue and helium. Next was like a, <laughs> like just airing out the room, like, you know? That's crazy. Yeah, like the, the Canadian ones, they're just they're, they're, they're slim and Barbie type things, you know? But I mean, the, any size, anywhere, everyone fits anywhere. But in my United States, Canada, where it's almost like the same thing, basically. Just the currency conversion. I had a question, too, as well. Um, what do you think is harder to Stripper or escort? Because I feel like there's levels. I feel like one, like, I don't know if we're getting personal, but like one you can just. Hey, kinda, that's what we did. One mm-hmm. you can kind of like just. Not really, actually. Both of them, you, you, they're hard to deal with. Women are hard to deal with. That's a question to you, too, Sean. I'm not either one of those, so I can't really <laughs> answer that question. Which one, I'm asking you which one do you think is harder to deal with? I don't know. I think it'd be harder to deal with. I think it'd be harder to deal with the stripper than it'd be harder to deal with the escort. Why? I don't know. I'm give my reason. I really have to think about it because I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, you know what? Um, to be honest, like, 
I've seen situations like with friends, right? Not me personally, like that. Just I have seen friends like had either or. And, like I think that escorting is more difficult because, um, like sometimes like the guy be in the room, you know, in the closet or something, or in the washroom, or like underneath the bed. And so like imagine you underneath the bed, just getting bumped so far. Like, <laughs> like I need to keep quiet. Like before I can say, your chest is getting pumped. Like, like yeah. You know, you're just hearing like your girl freaking with different guys, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, I think that would be more difficult, especially like, you know, cause like, you know, there's like, uh, the, the uh, like law enforcement and all that stuff too, right? There's people who come in the room and <coughs> pop off a badge, you know? Like, so imagine you're there, your girl or something, like, you know? I've seen, like, I've not seen, but I've heard guys like tell me stories of these things. I was like, yo, I guess the stripper's more like, controlled environment, safer environment. I believe so, you know? What's that? Um, I feel like, I feel like strippers, I feel like, I think strippers are more easier to deal with because they're more they're clearly more, guys i'm not about that life like, yeah, what i said was good like they're more yeah i feel like they're more safe because they're in a club that recommends security to be there and mm-hmm. like um as far as more like you know like it's more you don't have the security you know mm-hmm. like you have to actually go get one yourself so it's not like you know, it's. I feel like now that's a that's a problem. Now you have to find the security. Mm-hmm. So I feel like there's more of a problem you have to deal with as because it's more. You know, it's more like it's more risky. That's what I would say. Like why I say that, I figure that it would probably be simpler is because you know what you you know what you signed up for automatically. You know what I mean? Like, like this is this is the path you chose, and you said this is what I'm going to do. So this is what I'm going to do. As a stripper, you have the option to change your mind, pick what you don't want to do from what you don't want to do. That's 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 what it is. That was my mindset, but you just opened my eyes to a whole new world. So I I changed my my opinion. I I agree with you guys. Also, too, what do you think about the law on like escorting and stuff? Because I think it's bogus. I don't see how you can tell a female that she can escort, but you can't tell a man he can pay for it. To me, that doesn't make sense. Like, how yeah, that's actually really stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? The laws behind escorting and stuff, and this is the reason why we're having this conversation, just to like put that in the air. It's not because we're like encouraging pimping or anything like that. Just to let the people know, we just want to put these things in the air because I think that's backwards as hell. That you could say, yeah, females, you're allowed to sell it, but a guy's guy's not allowed to control you. One, Two, a, a guy's not allowed to drive you around. Because that, that too doesn't make sense either because I could drive anybody around and just because I drive you to point A to point B. Yeah, but, but even if, because if, if I drove you around, regardless if I knew or not, if you paid me for that and that was the cause of you driving or whatever, Open that one. I'm in trouble. Yeah. So to me, it's like the law is really, really screwed up and a lot of people don't know that. So what is your, obviously, I know it's going to be, but well, yeah, what you think on it's a tough question, you know, but you know, like, keep it real, like, yeah, people been making a lot, they the biggest tricks. Oh, but that's not the one that was making nice. That's why they, they do, they do, and, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one, to be honest, but, um, yeah, I mean, so, so those guys are doing the most, like, you know? Let me just understand something. You said that women can sell it, but men can't pay for it? It's a, it's a legal, fam. It's a legal for a man to go solicit sex. But it's it's legal for for a woman this is to why sell when, it. Sorry to bait people out, but this is why when they sell it, they say you're paying for time. So you're paying for my time. So whatever happens during that time, you're paying for that time. But at the end of the day, that's retarded. But How can you sell somebody that they're allowed to sell it, but you're soliciting? So you can't, you know what who I'm are you like, selling yeah, it to like, then? If you're allowed to sell it, who can you sell it to? You got to ask them. Even oh, a driver, because even I was just, I was confused for a yeah, second. Yeah, because I'm just like, saying, oh. like, the law, like, I just wanted to speak on the law of it being okay. just messed up. Even drivers, like, if you drove, right now, if you drove a female around, like, let's just say you drove a girl to a hotel, 
and she had sex and she paid you for that drive, if you're not a licensed taxi driver, you're getting charged for pimping. That's the law. So yo, what if it's like, what if they say it's like free but a donation is required? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Imagine that, like. I don't know, they'll try to read the flip it on you. I, I don't know, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but like, you know, like, you know, I knew the law was. Like, even if you drove a female around, like, if you're not like a license, yeah, I didn't even they know that. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, again, but not encouraging you, but for any of the money that's out there, just know the law because. These are things that people don't know, like, mm. you, you know, just know the law. But yeah, get sticky out there. Mm. So, <laughs> back to your chain here. <laughs> 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 Sorry. So, you know, now that that page is, like, gone, mm. has there been, like, what's, I, and not to say that you know this directly, but I'm like, has, have you seen, like, a change in the game? Like, how does that, like... Um, affect like, you know what? like how people are getting the bag now you know what because i do know a lot of um like girls in the industry as you know and you know what like, like i have some of my friends and like, a lot of my friends but like it's like everything since this covid thing mm-hmm. happened it's like everything's like cyber sex or cyber medic like <laughs> like you see this only fans popping up like only fans <laughs> and everyone has an only fans now like you know and now uh, these webcam stuff and all this, like you know, so I was like, whoa, like, and it's, I think like they're telling me they're I, I see girls on my social media popping off racks, like money phones, like bigger than the madams. I'm like, whoa, like you know, and I say like, only fans, subscribe up, click up, swipe left, swipe right. If you want to bite, like you know, no kiss, no taste, you know, lick me no bite, like uh, yes, like, you, know? you know, they got all kinds of stuff. So I guess like they're finding these ways, man. They're finding these ways of. Get into it, but I'm. Sh- I, I I know there's girls out there too that still just they don't care. They just go to some like two star telly, some here on Ontario, Britannia, you know, super mm-hmm. six or whatever, and then super eight, and they're still doing it, whatever they're doing, you know. Like, that's risky, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, hey, that's their hustle. That's their hustle. Hey, man, you know? I ain't want to judge. So just because you said, oh, sorry, guys, did you want to go? Okay, because you mentioned OnlyFans really quick. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just tied into like getting personal with yourself. Um, not just Toronto, but I want to know about Toronto and Canada on the whole. But if you can see somebody's OnlyFans or see somebody's sex tape, whose would it be? Whoa, like can said Canada wise was that? It can yeah. be, we, we would like it. We would prefer <laughs> if you can give me a Canadian. <laughs> if you can give me a Canadian, great. If you can't, by all means, just tell me who whose OnlyFans would you want to see? Uh, OnlyFans. I want to see me with somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, that know. was my next question, you know. But, <laughs> but um, I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So to be honest, like, if I could like, see whose would you really pay for? Like, I'm like, yo, I'm going to invest. Like, whose would you really pay for? <laughs> if, if my name was like, who would you swipe up for? Yeah, swipe up for shit, man. I don't know, like, uh, like forty nine ninety nine is coming out of your bank account, and this is the this is the person's only fan you mm-hmm. want to see, mm-hmm. or. I want to see the sex tape. I'm going to get Pornhub Premium just so I can see it. Boy, <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, yeah, you know, oh, that's very... Can we like, come back to it? I have to really think. I'll answer this question. Can that's you? okay. Think about it. I really but, like, want to. I yeah, want you know, the answer. Like, Gucci, like, tell me who's OnlyFans that you want to see. Because I'm like blown back. Swing like, that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm so dead ass. Gucci, you yeah. know I was coming with these questions. Yeah. You knew you should have been ready. <laughs> um... Holy, what do you say? It has to be in Toronto. I'm whole. I'm 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 asking for Canada. I'm asking for Canada. But if you can't give me Canada, tell me whose OnlyFans you would actually pay for. Oh, I guess pay. For. Like I want you to pay for it. Like you took the money out of your bank account. Um, Forty nine um, ninety nine um, came out of my bank for, account. Just for a month. Just for a month, you can get this change still because this is bad year. <laughs> And I need to see. Uh, I want to see what's popping. And then maybe in the next month I might subscribe again. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, have to, I have to go back to that. You have to come back to this, yeah. really, guys? For real, for real? I'm gonna just, like, I want, one of, I want one of each, you know what I mean? Like, I want a Canadian, I want like a... Huh? You don't want to do that. Take your, take this. Huh? Listen. 
<laughs> I want to see Lizzo. 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 Come on, man. Our you know the. Hurts. You know she got. She's. She's a little thicker. You know. She's sweet. She's Lizzo. Lizzo and the thing with the tongue. The tongue that thing with the tongue. That 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 girl that's everywhere on. On Instagram she's, and. Yeah, she got that long and tongue. Mm-hmm. I would do. I see she does have OnlyFans, but I don't know. How much you paid? Forty nine nine nine. You paid that? Forty nine ninety nine is too much. Twenty bucks, though. If it's under twenty, I'll do it. So if it's not, if it's forty nine ninety nine, you're not letting it come out of your account. That's what you're saying. It can't be more than my phone. That doesn't make sense. Wow. So I'll do it under twenty. Okay. Also, shout out. Um, I didn't do it either, but Yana Waiters. Who? Um, she's a. Who? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Niana Waiters, I believe. She's a six views uncut. Um, six views alumni. Alumni, not uncut. Not uncut alumni, but yeah, Niana, if you see this, come on, six views uncut, man. Why not? Yeah, you still need more time to think. You know what? Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, yo, to Toronto girls, they're too tough, man. Like, they're oh, too, like, they're too tuggy, tuggy, man. Like, wow. we're gonna see like some. Uh, they probably show a man's hammer or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Like, they're gonna come too like, like too aggressive. Like, like, uh-huh. Too like, too tuggy. I don't know. Ah, it's tough still, you know. I mean, okay, who's that girl that sings on um, to My Villains" and I have to know that China Doll or one of them type of doll names. You know what I'm talking about? Cash Doll. She's like, I'm too much. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I wonder that maybe her, you know, but I don't know, like Canadian wise, I don't know, man. Like, probably go like one of those old, old legends, like, you know, like, like with the first, like, implants were like sandbags, like army grade sandbags. <laughs> I'm fucking Before, like, the silicone stuff, like, like, you know, like, when they bend over, you can, like, they turn side, you can select the, you can see like, the strings, like, you can see like, the pulling, like, weight, you know? Like, you can see the, the seams in the bag to the That's side. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know, but uh, I, don't know, I like that though. That's yeah, good. Toronto girls, it's, it's tough. I mean, I, I come back to that. I mean. Gucci. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna ask you another question. I'm gonna come back to this one. Okay. So, would you guys consider yourself to be single men? I'm actually taken. Gucci? (laughs) I'm taken too. Hey! So, right now you guys are trying to. So, all three of you. You say he's taken too. You mean he's taken by like two of them. Maybe Uh, three or four of them. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The view. (laughs) So, if that's the case, so you know I'm talking to a bunch of taken men, and that's not bad. That's good. It's very good. Proud of you. Part of you. Um, what's your type? Um, I, mean, I don't have a type, you know what I mean? Like, I'll tell you something though. They yeah, got me going on, damn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like, I don't have a type. Like, I don't care what your race, but I don't, I don't want no big ass, big ass thing. Like, I don't know, like, and I'm, 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 I'm kind of picky with it. I'm not, I mean, we got a preference. We got a, we got a preference. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I was just asking your, I am asking your preference. That's yeah, it. So That's I'm, what I'm, I'm asking. I'm going to give you a detail, a vivid preference. Like, I'm, I'm very picky as a guy, you know? And, um, like, you can't have, like, a mashup belly button, like, you know? Like, your belly button can't be, like, the size of, like, ear. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, umbilical cord damage. You can't have a birth mark in, like, the weird place, like, like, even at a body cheek or, like, you can have something like on the ribs or something, you know, but nothing like more than like like fifteen centimeters across and you know thirty, you know. Um, can't be too hairy, like it can't be too hairy, but you know what I'm saying I like I like I don't like and then like like even like because yo some hairy things are bad. Like, you ever see like, a hairy thing bend over? Bro? It's like okay, you know what I'm saying you don't. It's like a German Shepherd or something. You know what I'm saying? Like like the, like the hybrid ones from Turkey. You know what I'm you don't know that, you know what I'm saying? I like, Yo, you said the hybrid ones yo, from Turkey. You know what I'm yo. yo, I'm not even boosted. Like, it's like, yo, I'm not even boosted. I'm not boosted, yo, because, like, some girls, they look like, like, you know, the brindle dog? The brindle pattern? The hair looks like the brindle pattern of that. Like, huh? like a Bengal tiger. And it goes up. down. But then when you bend the one, it's like, whoa, it's like, 
You know what I'm saying? You don't even know where to put it because it's just so much hair, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, and, it, and it grows like a chia pet. That's what Jesus yeah. is. You just add water and the shit just spikes up, poof. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fool now. Like, you're like, whoa, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, like, and again, like, now with the big guys taking, you know I'm saying? Because, like, like, I like to be versatile in bed. Like, you know, I like to maneuver and stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the big thing, like, what they do, either the front toss, back toss, you know what I'm saying? And, that's about you can do with a big thing, and if they you don't even sit on you because you know what I'm saying, the question. Well, I'm only 200 pounds. pounds. I'm only 200 pounds. Come on, fam. You, right? you can't big though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, but I'm also a light skin, you know what I'm saying? So I, I can't, I, I, can't have a, I can't have no big no. thing. I can't really just come sit down like, mm-hmm. like all that Cancel. pressure. I'm gonna all that pressure. You might get a lap band or something. I'm a girl with a big. Like just oh the, the blood just rushes like, <laughs> like a cartoon and just because there's too much pressure. Your legs be blue by the time she come off you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 like some blue like, you know the guy from Family Guy the, in the wheelchair that wobbly noodle legs? No, it's I like, can't. Yeah, like that, man. I'm done. Like, no, so, so my preference is great, you know. So it does. Like, I like a girl like, like a nice figure slim eyes, you know. Like I don't care much. I, I care more about the face than I do anything. If you get a pretty face, I'll be trying to a pretty face more than anything. You know what I mean? So even if she's on the thicker side, okay, you got a pretty face, you know? We'll go to Dominican or something, do some transfers or something like switch something around. Put some yasso, yasso. Take some from yasso, the neck back. So they got the neck back, but you know they got the neck back, the Frankfurters in the back, with the ballpark Franks. You can't do those ones, you know? So you take some of you know? And if that's what they want, you do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's facts, though. It's, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just being honest. Like, I'm very definitive. Would you okay? You know? <laughs> yeah, I I'm just very definitive. That's all. But that's I mean, that's up. me. Man. I don't care about the race or none of that. Man. You know what I mean? This is intense. I am yeah, so proud. Yeah. Gucci, what's your type, V? Yeah. I don't. I don't have a like specific type. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. if you look good and like you know wherever you're from or you know like if you just look good in general you know how to put yourself together and the main thing for me is like respect like if you have respect i'll take that over you know anything and personality oh you went deep with that you said and personality and everything i was like yeah Mm-hmm. I need love and affection. Hey, <laughs> Gucci. I like that. What about you, sir? That's a tricky. <laughs> what kind of money you're like? What are your type? I, that's not where we were with this conversation right now. Come on, yo, come on. But, um, this is, no, 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 no. I'm going to um, answer the question. Just relax. Oh. Oh, <laughs> relax, yeah. relax. Um, to be quite honest, I'm not, no disrespect, see, no different. But I'm not into the light skin thing. It's not for me. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a diss thing. You know what I mean? Um, I'm an extremist. So, if you're white, you're white. And if you're black, you're black. And I'm not. I don't discriminate. I'm like, that's just not who I am. Um, I like who I like. And if you don't like it, that's your business. And I don't like the cute guy. That's not, that's not who I am. Because you're too full of yourself. And we can't have a regular conversation. So, that's not, that's not for stuff. Um, but yeah, so personality, humor, honesty is a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Just be honest, because I'm like, for me, I'm like, there's no reason to lie. I don't know you from a hole in the wall, me. Like, yeah, honesty is the biggest thing. But yo, like, what makes like, like, what makes people wanna lie? What makes people lie? Like, you know, I'm sure we all try to lie before. Like, like, of course. Is, like, as much as we want to be honest, it's like, you don't want just. To <laughs> that's true, that's it. That's why, that's, why, that's, why. that's why I just go for just respect, like you feel me? Because sometimes you're gonna have to lie. And you don't, you don't like mean to, you just get caught up in the moment, the situation. But if you have respect to show me, like, R, R, E, this will happen, and Ray, Tay, Tay, then I'll respect you, like, R, you know what? I'll tell you from the wrong and the right. You feel me? Everybody's gonna make mistakes and you have to learn from that. So if you have respect to like, you know, come out the shell and you know, let me know what time it is, then yeah, we could, we could, you know, we could work on it. Hey, hey, you giving me these big ass ass, Gucci, hey, hey, okay. Hey, 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 hey,
okay, okay. I'm like, I'm enjoying this, but you see, because you brought up something too, I'm gonna ask you this because you said you said you had an issue with that. So I have shaved, unshaved, or you're not picky, but you know, I already know, say so you know like your hair thing already. <laughs> so but let me know. Like is it a problem for you? Like do you prefer like shaved, trimmed, groomed? Like you know what again, Eric, yeah, I'd rather like I'm not too picky but I think there's a time, everyone has like a set of freakiness and I'm like, sometimes you wanna just, you haven't seen a hairy thing in a song, so you wanna do a hairy thing, you know? Or like, it, it, it was too, cause I'm sure like a lot of people are shaved on there, you know? But there's goods and bads with a shave. When you're shaved on there, what happened? Raise your bum, you know what I'm saying? So if a man see that, take off your jaws, he's like, whoa, what that spot, spot, I'm like, what that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> spot, 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 yeah, like that. Whoa, it's all whoa. white heads too, so they're gonna crack. You might actually get his phone and put the shit out, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna do with that. Oh yeah, some men are just, some men are raw like that still. But no, no, I can't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I see them, you know. But like, and also the, it's, it's to the to the feel. It's smooth going down, but going up, it's like sandpaper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that 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 that'll hurt you too. Like you know what I'm saying? That'll hurt you too. So it's like that will give you like, oh, like you know, like it'll hurt you up, man. Cut you up a bit down there too. You know, so mm-hmm. it's, it's rough. It's not you don't get that like. It's like imagine that just like. It's like a fat girl with the jeans that are just rubbing the friction just burns a hole. So she opens her legs and just see two, no, two skin. We're not, do, do you see, you want to always compare it to the, just leave the big girl well, alone. No, no, no honestly, I, I, love, I love the big gal too. Like, I got love for them. Like, you like, know what I'm saying? Like, I think I just had a rough pass with big gal. I think that's it. You know, I think so, because it's this one is rough, man. Like, I'm actually like looking down like, yo, I had some f- fucked up <laughs> fat, so I'm, like, I'm going to ask you about that in a second, but yeah. Gucci, can you, um, Tell me what, if you have a preference. Shaved, unshaved, you're not picky. Nah, um, but obviously, I like it shaved, you know what I mean? But like I said, I'm not picky, but I mean, as long as it's clean, you, you did. That's what it is. Um, but are you guys grooming yourselves? Because I see that you guys all have these like preferences and stuff, but I'm like, are you taking care of yourself? Like, are you actually grooming as a, like, just a perca- like, you want her to be groomed. Are you groomed? Listen, mine's clean like a baby phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You grew up down there still, you know. I'm just making sure. A little, a little near down there, you know what I'm saying? Nobody cares. Very well. Sometimes you gotta use what you gotta use, yo. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, just don't leave it out for too long, though, no, because it's why. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball, yeah, yeah. Fireball's a fire. Man. <laughs> Oh man, that was good. I like that. I like that you guys are being honest. I appreciate that. Thank you for being very candid about this conversation. Yeah, no you got a question? I gotta go about like approaching a girl you just wanna f- sorry, smash. <laughs> I have to say something else because you know, swearing is a little bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um I got some I got some pickup lines, you know? Oh, you mean you can actual pickup lines? Oh, yeah. I like that. It only works. It, it, this line actually has like an 87% success rate. 87. 87. Uh, I like that. Seen and counting, oh, that's you know? Yeah. Studies have shown. Recent studies have shown. Uh-huh. Know? And uh, like, so a girl walks by or something and say, oh, yo, you dropped something. I'm like, what? She looks back. You pick it off the floor. You say, oh, my heart. You know what I'm saying? And they're just like, oh, that was so corny, you know? <laughs> and we're like... See, my, the way I get through is through humor, right? So I make a girl laugh or something. And then, like, that's so corny. I'm like, yeah, well, my name is, you know, Dingo there. What's your name? What's your number? Like, you know, straight to it, you know? One, two more jokes, and then, um, you know, you get into it. Like, you know what I mean? They, and unless, if anything, if you want a quick eyes, you just go to Scarborough or somewhere and pass, wow. pass it for a while. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, real shit. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? You go, what, what? We get to that, yo, you go to Kennedy Station, man. You pick anything up, like, you know what I'm saying? Just tell her have an Airbnb or you know a basement, basement apartment, and she's there. You know what I'm saying? And she'll come with a henny. She'll come with you know some grava. So you know what I'm saying? I don't smoke or drink, but they're gonna come with it. You know they're gonna drink it out to themselves, and they get it going within an hour. Within an hour. This is actual facts too. These girls get it going within an hour. You can meet them within an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Microphone. It's, it's, Microphone. It's, it's, it's out there. Oh, yeah, Scarborough, my numbers are climbing the most. Mm. It's really bad. Yeah. 
used to go leave there after school every Friday and go up there to my uncle's, man, and just in the basement. He's like, yeah, we're, 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 trying, we're trying to clap or not now. We're trying to clap or not now. I'm like, whoa, you know? I said, just chill, you know? Because he's a guy who be listening to the doors sometimes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's one of those ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. in a <laughs> what was the question? Um, the question was. How do you approach? Yes. You just want to smash. Just want to smash. Um, I usually I'm I'm different. Like I don't really like talking. So like, like you know, I'm more like, like you know, like a flashy type of person. I'm more like, <laughs> I'll pull up, you know, like, you feel me, like, you know, like, I'm more like a flashy person, so, I, like, if I could attract you with, like, you know, whatever, if I'm wearing or what I'm driving or something, and it gets your eyes, then I'll just try my luck right there and then see where it goes. <laughs> Yo, can I tell you guys something about this guy? <laughs> this guy is so sick with it. I see this guy one time. He went to a bar, right? We're in a strip club, right? He sat down. You know what I'm saying? And he sits in the lightest part, where the best lighting is, he sits in that section, right? So it's coming down on I believe it. I and believe it. I believe it because I've been seeing the Instagram the live come, videos. Polish up all the jewels, make sure you're ready. How do I look in the mirror? How do I look? Uh, 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 okay? Order a shrimp. Order the biggest the platter of shrimp you can get, 25 bucks or something. And then puts his key down. And his phone down, and he put some money, and this gets spread out nice and neat, you know? All the hundreds at the top, fifties in the middle, green at the bottom, and like the one five just hanging his pay for food. And it works, they come by, and it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a bear snack, you know? They walk by they're like, oh, you're gonna reach for the money, the key, or the food. And he gets that and he's gone with them. And just like that, I'll be back. Cuss. You know what I'm saying? You go in the party, the cars is bouncing up and down. I'm like, this guy, <laughs> he's been through big. This is like his fourth pair of shots on the car. Because it's weird, well, herky, 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 jerky. And I'm like, yo. Yeah. Yes. But the garbage yeah. dump, too, you know. The man's sick by the garbage dump. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this guy is sick when he does that. <laughs> that was all <odd>, cap. <laughs> <laughs> yo. I actually believe it. That's it's what's crazy. Like team. I actually believe this it. Gucci, I told you you're like the you're the rapper, B. It's you're crazy. the rapper. It's, like, it's crazy. So hold on. If you're the rapper, would you be the porn star? Would you be the OnlyFans? <laughs> no. How much would you charge for your OnlyFans? I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. For real? <laughs> you have an OnlyFans? No, I got an OnlyFans. Would, would you have one? Um, would you I get mean, one? Sorry. I would. I would. Like you know, say. What would I you see, charge? I see like some other rappers doing it too. So you know. I'm what like, would you charge? I don't know. What do they charge? Like four ninety nine. I don't know. What can I get? Like, but what's your worth? Yeah. You I mean, I'd want to charge like a bajillion dollars, like, but I can't. You know? I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> Just give me thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. What are you showing me though? Whatever. Oh, but actually, thirteen ninety nine yeah. depends on the kind of content. You know? Yeah. What are you showing me? See on that, it'll be like a $69.99, but without the $69. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? But I mean, yeah, be expensive, you know? But keep it like kind of free ski, you know? Not too wild, though. Okay. That's a reoccurring six views uncut question. What is your worst sexual experience? <sighs> I just want one, because you sound like you want to give me enough. Okay. I just want you know what? one. Yo, I actually got like. Oh my God! By a woman, at, uh, by a girl once. You got a Terry Crews. And again, it was in Scarborough. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, online. Do you guys have had T dot wire before? Like back in old five. Yo, T dot wire. That side is I'm telling you that I met. A, I seen this nice girl, man. She's like bent over the the, the camera for the it was a webcam those times, right? So she's like bent over. Like, so she's on the cleavage of it, you know what I'm saying? And I, I know a person that knows her, and he said, yo, that girl's kind of a big girl. I'm like, how big can she be? Look at that. She's like a five, seven eyes. He said, no, nah, that girl's a big girl. So fast forward, and I go meet the girl in Scarborough now, my uncle's. But the same one, I was like, oh, you're about to talk, you're about to talk. And man, this girl was like, I was, I was about 18, okay? 130 pounds, soaking wet, okay? 
and had like braids those times. So this girl was six five, playing center for like Scarborough Collegiate or something, and she was like their best player. I'm like, it was like you know Adam's family, and you open the door, you see Lurch. Like I opened the door and I just looked down, I was like, mm. it's like. Mm. And she came to the house. It was like looking at the Undertaker. Like, I was like, oh my God. Like, I just saw like the dark clouds and the thunder was like raining down. I was like, oh my God. And she just bunks me with her chest in the crib. And I got, actually got bounced back. And my uncle's been like, yo, what are you going to do with a thing like this? Like, I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, oh my God. Like, and I was like, this girl came in to do these things. So we're sitting and chilling now. Just me and her. It's late now. It's getting late. And then I was so nervous because she was sitting beside me. And her, she's like, she's like American sized woman, like, like big head, big body. Like she could just beat me up if she really wanted to. And I could fight on my might and lose. You know what I'm saying? And I sat on, and she, she sat on my lap. All the pressure, my right leg started twitching. It was just going, I couldn't stop my right leg from just glitching. It was like, gig, 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 gig. I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God. I'm like, my hands were sweating. My armpits were sweating. I was like, it's time to get in. My arms are sweating. <laughs> and this girl, literally, just grab me by, it was like a, it's like a little scene, she had a sitcom, grab me by my shirt, just yank me down on top of her, and I was like a baby on top of a mother, like, and, and she's like forcing me in her, she, she like ripped off my clothes, had those like, those basketball trainers with the, with the buttons at the side, and it was, yeah, she, she took me apart, and she just kept me on there, she was holding me down, and I'm just like, oh, stuffing me in her breast, and I couldn't breathe, I was like, oh, I was sweating, I was like, oh, I was so nervous, I was like, oh my god, like, what's happening, like, I was like, I was like, oh no! Like, I feel like I was gonna start tearing up because I was like, wow, she's just taking me, oh my and God. she just like, imagine like a this big, like this is like a big, tall, six five woman. I may be like five six at the time, you know. I'm like, oh my God, she just did anything she wanted, me. just had me on her, and just shoving me, you know. And I was super soft, like, like you know, you get so- like, oh God, oh. I couldn't even get up, like, like, like I was soft, but I just got softer, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it went inverted inside of me. Saying that my dick was trying to run away from this girl. I was like, nah, like, and she just pushed me in. I was like, no, it was just that was a bad experience. That was the worst experience I've ever remember in my life. Gucci. So hold on, I don't know before we get to Gucci. Oh, you, you got questions. questions. Nah, nah, you know it's still a lot of, you know, it's like oh, bro, I, like, I didn't even know what happened. Like I just I just happy I woke up, like, you know. I didn't tell him I was like, oh my god, like, I felt like I was walking on my towel, like, oh my god. Like, oh. Wasn't at the door, nah, he was upstairs, man. he was upstairs, man, oh, he was upstairs, that was crazy. Like, that girl just took me, I was like, holy fuck. He wanted it. Okay. Um, Gucci, what's your favorite memory? Um, one of my worst experiences. So like a while back when I like I, I think I was like <laughs> like I had a couple of but I'm, this one's the worst one so this one's like I think when I was like like 17 yeah like I was 17 I remember like I went to a girl's condo and after like her mom and dad was at home or t- t- so you know like obviously night they went out so I'm just like all right, let me get a quick key you know you know what it is so I went to a condo whatever so you know I'm, I'm getting to what I'm doing like you know I'm hitting it and like because it was just it wasn't it you feel me oh, and fuck. it and like <laughs> like I couldn't come like you know and before you know it the parents come home mm. So now I have the pussy wasn't good. The parents come home. So now, yeah. So now I have to like you already know, like it's a condo. So and that time you know it's like a one floor. It's not like you know like this is like Mm -hmm. you know like condo like when the the room is beside the kitchen, the kitchen beside the door, door, you know the living room everything is close. So it's like I have to. I just got up on there, got up off her, and just fucking put on my clothes quick. And I felt like he kind of heard, you know, the noise a little bit because you know you're trying to rush to mm-hmm. like you don't want to see if he bag you don't want to yeah. see you naked so you want to put on some and you know like obviously seeing me putting on my like my pants I had my my thing I got my boxes on before he came so I put on my pants and you know like I put on my shame came and he's like yo what the fuck like you know like it's like 
like you know each other. So like at the time, I'm like you know like I was younger, so I was like all right, like you know like put on my clothes and leave, and this is embarrassed to have to walk past the mom and dad. You feel mm-hmm. me? Leave and on top of that, I never got my credit. I never got the car. So now you're leaving <laughs> off for of, like I'm so dead. Cause she's like that was the fucking worst. Yeah, like, like you're leaving off for of, like it was even good, and then you have to go through like, like mm-hmm. <laughs> embarrassment. They're looking at you like with a nasty face. And on top of that, like, what makes it even worse is I got a speeding ticket going home. So it's like, oh. yeah, so it's like, I just did all that <laughs> for, for what? For, like, for a mere $800 ticket? Yeah, like, I had something about Stupidness. Mm-hmm. Um, What's up? Is this sidebar? No sidebar. What are you saying? Pops is a BT. Hmm? Pops is a bitch. Who? Sorry. <laughs> Pops in the story. He, he's whack, fam. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's whack. You're seeing your daughter getting, or you know your daughter's getting pine up in your house. He's whack. I mean, that's still too much. He's not even talking to the man. Nah, like, fam, yeah. We're scrapping. I'm kicking off. Me and Gucci got to scrap, fam. Sorry. Like, we, we would have to scrap. Oh, yeah. After that, just man. the go go part, like, Gucci, real talk, though, there, there, we, there'd be a thing. So, yeah, I like, yeah, I probably yeah, have to fight. 17? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, no. That was good. I really appreciate all of that. You guys really gave me these details. I really like that. I got like PTSD now. Like, like my leg is starting to shake again, and my hands are getting like, like, Gus, you have another question? <laughs> okay, well, let us know where you where you can find you guys. Where you can find Left with Gucci. Where you can find follow Big M- Binga Binga. Am I saying that right? Basmadi. Gucci. Where can we like? follow you and get your like life you can find me on instagram gucci 416 everything underscore but the 416 and you can also find me on clear star studios six wow and I mean, gang 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 and we love hip-hop you can find me there that's what's up you can find me at your local titty bar, Monday to Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Do that. Like Twenty dollar like strip, don't slip. Hide your bitch. Let's go. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, guess you are dead. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Oh man, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys for coming on and doing this. Um, shout out the team, the platform. We love hip hop. Obviously, again, Friday, Ricky Dread, PK Her, Empress on the Six Views Instagram page. Make sure you're following. Subscribe to our YouTube, uh, We Love Hip Hop Network. Uh, yes, um, follow us on all social media platforms. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Gutsy Guts on everything. Um, again, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, get this to a thousand. I know when you're seeing this, I don't know how the videos, but get any of these videos that come out. Make sure you get one of them to a thousand and make sure you comment for your chance to win. Make sure. And make sure you comment. Get this to a thousand. And um, anything else that you can think of, I'm high. I'm, you guys got me drunk as hell. This nigga got me laughing like I'm a freaking two-year-old over here. No, not much. I'm like, it was good. I was like, it was really good. Thank you guys so much again. Gucci, thank you. Field trip, like... Yeah. Beautiful. The views are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Basmati, um, sir, um, thank you again. I appreciate your conversation. Thank you. You know what? Shout out to all the artists in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? East and the West and North and South, every beat. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to all the artists in the city, man. The folks in the Toronto music, love it, man. You know what I mean? But That's let's just try to get the unity, you know what I mean? Going if we can, man. I love it regardless, man. You know what I mean? I like that. But yeah, um, like Gut said, follow everybody on their social medias. You can follow me as well. Um, Savvy Duos on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, I give you my Snapchat, but I don't want to have to spell that. And if you have it, then you're lucky. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys again so much. Stay safe. And um, until next time, right? So you have fun. Oh.